Oh, this is a 1v1 between me and this guy, Malak. Malak, Malak, Malak. I think that's a Star Wars reference. Alrighty, now we got Terran versus, well, the usual Zerg. And nothing untoward happened. Um, the map is Scrap Station, as you all know. Just a general islandy base, close air positions. Um, close ground blocked by two sets of rocks. Long way around, has a Zolnag on it. Quite good. And I'm going for an early expand. And it's early Zerglings. Better slow it down, actually. Well, I say early. It's about five minutes in now. So I'm just having a look. And let's see what he's doing. Well, as you can see, he's bunkered up, but he's not walled off, so my Zerglings get to run in. Cost me two Zerglings for a little bit of scouting info. I lost an early Overlord in here, two Marines. So I managed to get, what, one, two, three workers? Three workers for four Zerglings. That's not too bad. Nearly four workers. So, I think that's pretty much cost effective. Until, of course, the mule comes in. Mules. I hate mules so much. Uh, this overlord got hit earlier. He's got plentiful missile defense there. Well, that's kind of a spoiler. He the engineering bay, no research on the upgrades. What are we building? Barracks? Just typical Terran barracks build. Typical, typical Terran. And uh, let's check the income. He is ahead because he has a mule. But once that mule's gone, I will be ahead. Because I'm on two base. And I've got more harvesters. But I am. Not that strong a front, actually. Really could just waltz on in and mop up. He's supply blocked. That is not good. Building lots of supply now. Quicken it up a bit. I'm researching ventral sacks. And might as well tell you why now. Because it's blatantly obvious. No, even though that missile turret kind of puts you off, the close air positions are too hard to resist. If he were to build an early much earlier factory, if he had a factory, and um build a starport, he could get very, very quick drops. It's good space there to drop in behind me. And you can go around a long way, there's excellent space there. And uh, the average player doesn't scout their own base hugely. So you could build effectively an entire base in here. Good news for you proxy barracks people. I don't think I scouted that at all. That was a mistake. But getting heavy gas now because hydras cost money. Have we got a factory going up? Yes, finally a factory. And a second refinery. Yeah, definitely not the worst player I've played today. I've played some terrible players. And my overlord will want to have a little scout soon. Two missile turrets there now, so you must feel relatively safe on that flank. Very exposed up here, but um, Zerger would be on his way by now. He, he hasn't scanned me all game, and he doesn't need to with the ter the Terran energy you spend it on mules. Uh, what else can you spend it on? Suppose you could spend it on extra supply. He did, in fact, call down extra supply there. You can tell because it's a different color, and I think that's a waste. Another missile turret up, and there's the starport. Should be building medevacs, I think. Another missile turret, uh, and another one, and another one. Probably a waste of minerals, but yeah, extra supply. Uh, it costs 50 energy that could be spent on a mule, whereas a mule mines you about what 900-ish minerals, I think, in its run. Well, maybe not. Definitely a lot more than a hundred, which is all supply costs. So unless you really, 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 really super need quick supply, there's no point in doing anything other than getting mules. Maybe for some intel, you get yourself get yourself a scan, but 
What's this? Uh, he's checking his own expansion, making sure it's not taken, I guess. What are his units? They are 1-1. One, one. Mine are 1-0. Soon to be 1-1. One, one. Zergling scouting. Um, luckily not finding any proxies, not finding any sneaky play. I'm aware of his missile defense, but I'm going to tough it out anyway. Uh, now he has his medevacs. Is he going to do a drop, or is he just going to... Is he just going to support a push? Remains to be seen. Probably should have pushed that by now. 14 minutes on one base is not... Is, is not very economical. Just checking if he expanded. He hasn't. So I'm in a good position. So I'll slow it down now, because here comes the drop. Sacrificial overlords in the front. And... Have I lost any? No. Well, I have lost overlords, but I didn't lose any containing units and in come the ground units and all those 150 mineral turrets are now useless if there were three marines maybe maybe a difference would have been made but uh... No, I think spending too much on static defense bunkers as well, 100 each not hugely useless useful even and yeah, that's, that's the game over you can see the little army I managed to build off two base, even with the heavy tech route I went. And yeah, very easy game because of the close air positions. I mean, how could you not go for a drop? I mean, think how long it would take the army to go around here and then smash in the front where he's waiting. Whereas a drop in here instantly smashed factory and barracks. Barracks were high priority. He had two starport. Um, I was getting a spire, don't worry. I threw it down as an afterthought, just in case that didn't work, but it totally did. So, surprisingly one of the tougher games I've had today. Well, I have had a tougher one, that's coming up next.